have I got an amazing video for you today, an Australian native food that can be grown really all around the world, temperate, subtropical, tropical, places with light frosts. If you want to attract and feed the bees, the butterflies, the birds, provide habitat for insects, you can grow it small, from a bonsai right up to a large four to five metre tree, so 15 feet plus. It's classed as a big shrub. I also get beautiful little edible berries. And mm, listen to that sound. Crunch. Oh. This garden is all about compost worms, composting, farming worms indoors and out, and growing some of the most awesome food around. You can learn how by clicking the subscribe button and hitting the bell so you don't miss any of my That's videos. It. Welcome world to the Marty's Garden Show. So have I got an amazing show from the grow table for you guys today. Yes, it's an Australian native food called Syzygium resilience. It's a type of lily pilly. There's lots of different lily pillies out there. And you can grow it in many different climates. If you've got light frost, no problem. Temperate area. Subtropical, loves it. Will grow in tropical areas as well. And I've got mine growing as a little windbreak down the southern end of my small space there. Not only providing habitat, but it's providing food for the bees. And in the winter time, the insects will go down below and they will hibernate below that tree because it's a nice safety zone for it. And I also get beautiful little edible berries. And mm, listen to that sound. Crunch. Oh, you don't know if that captured that on a film, but it has a little seed in there as well. And um, has like this apple cinnamon flavour, and then this sour end ending that's just really nice and it just, I'll be out there pretty much every day harvesting from my tree and it has a really pretty flower as well. And it normally it will flower in spring. Mine's in a spot where it gets sun later on in the season and it flowers a little late. But the berries will produce for a few months and you can see one forming there and when it's before it goes into flower and it's in flush it has this beautiful reddy brown bronze uh, color scheme and it's really really pretty so you can grow it as a hedge you can grow it as a bonsai you can grow it in a container you can trim it to any size that you want it is an amazing plant it'll grow in all types of soils it can handle a lot of different conditions it does like a good draining soil, so if it's a wet place, it's not something I would recommend, and it needs to be in a fairly sort of warm zone as well. So you don't want to have it in a spot where there's lots of cool breezes if you live in a temperate area. If you're in subtropical like me, I've put it down in probably one of the coolest spots in my garden to trap that heat there to create a windbreak. And what I've done is, I was taught this by a special biodynamics farmer and he taught me how to actually shape fruit trees, so edible trees. And the trick is, and listen to this guys, because this is really important, you need to get your tree shaped like a pine tree, a Christmas tree. And the reason being now, so look at that point there and imagine the light coming down on the top and reflecting. We've got someone working over there, hammering away. But I'm gonna keep videoing. I've got a builder right near my house. So we're gonna get back to this part here. I just can't win today on these videos. <laughs> anyway, we'll keep moving. So, we've got this point here like this. The light's coming down. It's reflecting all around the plant, photosynthesizing and allowing light to hit all that area there. So, And what that is doing is producing more flowers then. That means more yummy fruits like this. So I'm going to go out and eat mine like every day. It's very high in vitamin C. Get my vitamin C fresh food fix pretty much straight away and just love it. So we'll grow in a wide variety of soils. 
Uh, it, it doesn't mind if it's a little bit acidic, a little bit of alkaline, no problems there whatsoever. Just a daily water in the heat. And if you go away for a few days or a holiday, no problem. Your tree is still going to be there. One of the issues I found with my tree when it was younger, when the new flush was scale coming up and attacking around the buds, the ants were farming them. So what I did was I found a way to stop the ants from getting up and then just went out every day and just scraped them off. And the ants will try and get you because basically what the ants are doing is protecting the scale because the scale are feeding like a black sooty mould to the ants and they work in harmony together. So I just scraped them off. I didn't like worry about spraying or anything like that. If you get bad infestations, you may come in with a pyrethrum or something along those lines. So absolutely beautiful tree. To recap, you can grow it in a pot. It will grow in lots of different soils. Um, it will grow from small, if you can cut it back to any height you want, right up to around about five meters. So one meter is three feet. So you know we're talking 15 foot plus if you want it to get that large. I'm gonna keep mine around that six to eight foot mark and trim it back down again. You can grow it in a pot and move it around and see where it likes that spot. And then you can come out and harvest anywhere from sort of one month to two months of the year you can make a little uh, lily pilly jam out of this um, as well who knows i might even try doing that because i'm going to get my best harvest i believe this year after all that rain so if you've got any questions about this awesome windbreak food provider for lots of different insects bees and oh man it's just this tree is it's, it's the bomb it really is the bomb Highly recommend it if you want to have a small little bushy perennial edible tree at your place. Make sure you get hold of Lily Pilly resi Resilience, blah, blah, <laughs> the word, Syzygium Resilience. One of my favourite little trees, other than maybe the lemon myrtle. All right. If you want to keep watching more from the grow table, make sure you subscribe before you go. More awesome cool plants coming along the way. We're going to fill you in on how to grow them, what to do with them, the best way to propagate them, take care of them at your place. Remember, that one's an awesome windbreak, and it will provide habitat to protect your veggies. True, because the insects that are in there, they're going to come across and predate in the veggie garden and go back into this little bushy area. Great one to have near the veggie garden. Have a great day. Happy gardening. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a big thumbs up. Yep. So I can get the laugh and share the love with you guys. Here we go. Flexi hand. See you at the next video real soon. I'm making heaps of it at the moment. Bye for now.